Hey everybody, welcome to Nation. My name is Jersey and we have an awesome show for you today. If this is your first time watching, what's up? Thanks for coming by, checking it out. Hopefully it doesn't suck as bad as you think and you'll go back and watch some of our other episodes. Uh, we're in the 20s now so you got lots of stuff to catch up on. Definitely check that out. More importantly, if you are part of the nation, what is up? You are here every week, you check us out, you like us, you subscribe, you click, you comment, you do all that fun stuff, what is up? I very, very, very much appreciate you guys, really, truly, you're the reason we can keep doing the show, so what is going on? And if you didn't get your nation sticker yet, then please send me your email uh, via, uh, send me your address via email, josh at windowcleaningresource.com and finally i am a sales rep for window cleaning resource so if there's any products you need uh traditional or water fed definitely call me or shoot me a text 862-312-2026 i very much appreciate that or if you just want to text me and say what's up i hate your show i like your show your nose isn't that crooked which i actually had somebody send me Go ahead and text that number and let me know uh, what your thoughts are. And if you have ideas for the next show or series, definitely let me know because I always very much appreciate that. But enough with that. We are here with the, the trad man, Peter. What's going on, man? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I, I literally am excited to talk to you because you are across the pond, because it's a whole different world. Tell people, I know everybody here watches my show that watches you, but tell us what you do YouTube-wise, what your channel name is, what you focus on. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm Tradman. Um, I started my YouTube channel about a year ago. Um, to start with, it was mainly just about traditional window cleaning. That was about it, really, just to pass on things that I've learned um, to people maybe perhaps just starting up. But as time's gone on, I kind of sort of delved into doing reviews on other things. I'm now looking to perhaps go into the water-fed pool side of things as well in the near future. Um, so yeah, I know, but I'm usually trad man, okay, with a little <laughs> hint of what. Okay, right, 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 <laughs> but what right. I'm basically planning to do is to help those guys who are mainly traditional um, to see why it is maybe beneficial, even to have a small water-fed pool system. That there are benefits and there's perks to having one. So. As we'll go on to, I'm sure, chat about later on, that the two can work together. So yeah. that's basically my channel in a nutshell. It's just slowly, hopefully, growing and being helpful to uh, all the people that are watching. So that's great. Yeah, nice. Tell us what your uh, your YouTube kind of uh, channel name is so we can go find you. Oh, yeah, no worries. So it's literally trad, and then it's a hyphen, and then man. So trad man. So if you just type in trad man, it'll come up, and you'll see the... Uh, it's like a little skull with a little tartan thing going on and a tartan hat and a little ginger beard, just like me. Yeah, yeah nice, so. nice. <laughs> so now, <laughs> for people who don't know, you are, I could tell you have an accent. You're from, uh, is it Mexico? Where are you from? Close, very close, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Scotland, of course. Lovely nice. Scotland. Nice. And uh, no, I'm not wearing a kilt before you ask, not at this current <laughs> point in time. We can only see certain point on the camera, so don't ruin it for us. We're just imagining there's a kilt there. In, in right. our brains, just everybody's wearing kilts all the time, like uh, uh, groundskeeper yeah, yeah. Willie style, you know? Just ripped it. I've just come from purging sheep. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Everything's yeah. made out of, like, cobblestone, and it's it's a, it's a beautiful place in our heads, definitely. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so so being that you are from um you know across the pond if you will you're 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 from a whole another area I've tried to tell people this before but it is a different world like the UK and us it, it's 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 completely different for instance our houses we do I mean I do a, maybe a half a dozen houses I do monthly everything else yep. is all quarterly more than likely is every six months and you guys do what what's what's a normal route for you which you call a round what what is that uh yeah so basically most companies work on either a once per month or a once every two months basis that's kind of the normal um for sort of bigger contracts say for ha perhaps oil companies that kind of thing some of them especially recently with the the way the economy has gone um they've you know gone for every three or four months kind of thing but there's not many things that we do here that's only once or twice a year. That's very much 
uh, alien to us. Wow. Um, so yeah, we work on a round basis. Um, so basically, especially for guys like myself, once your round's full, the idea is that you then maybe, um, what's a polite way of saying get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, fire the, um, in a nice way, right? Yeah, dissolve the bottom as you expand the top kind of thing. Yeah. That's maybe a nicer way of putting it. Um, we do value all of our customers, of course, but there are some jobs that, you know, just give you a really bad shoulder or whatever. Every month you go around to do it right. and you think, I wouldn't mind replacing this one with something a little bit easier to do kind of thing. So yeah. that's the idea. Once you get a full round is to then, you know, create the business and create the round that you really want. Um, so that's kind of my, my goal is, especially if I'm doing this long term, like my father's been doing this for 34 years. Um, so if I'm going to be doing it for that long, then I want a nice, easy round when I get nice and old. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Well, that's kind of the nice thing yeah. is you can kind of hone it in. I mean, that's your focus now mm. is just to kind of get the best of the best and cherry pick and, and kind of go from exactly. that. It's, it's, it's exactly. awesome to me. And I, I think that people would love to have clean windows all the time. I don't know mm. where the district, I don't know where it kind of changed between the two, but uh, mm. I mean, people are excited. I think, our dollar amount is so much higher per window because it's only done once yeah. every six months that if you charged here, what you charge mm -hmm. uh, like a route storefront, like we would do and the same concept, I think it would work. I just, you know, yeah. tell me this is, is most of your jobs outside only also? Yes. Yeah. Most of it's external. Um, you know, the, 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 I know it's a thing in America. It's um, you price it for internal and external. That's kind of part of the normal kind of thing, I believe. Yeah. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, in, in the UK, usually it's normally external is the standard. Um, you know, different companies have different policies. Some will offer internal services like right away. So as soon as you get a new customer, They'll say, well, do you fancy getting your internals done at the same time? But most companies will wait for the customer to actually contact us and say that they want the internals. Yeah. So when we price something, normally when we turn up to a job, it's just exterior. We normally just price for exterior unless they've you know, stated otherwise. So that's, that's kind of the normal here in the UK. So it's a little bit different. <laughs> so, so anybody who's well, watching or listening right now, let's, let's get this straight. So not only are you doing these houses at least once a month, but you're also yep. only doing outside. Yeah, it's pretty easy. <laughs> you want I to think, come to the UK? <laughs> yeah, I think we're in the wrong. I think we're in the wrong area here. But I, for us, I think it's. Uh, I haven't run the numbers in a long time to actually know this, but inside versus outside, I think probably seventy five percent of our jobs is inside and outside, and maybe twenty five percent. It might even be higher in the inside and outside, but uh, it's. It's crazy to me. Like the inside is a pain in the butt, yeah. and we have people who always say, "I'm going to start a business, but I'm only going to focus on outside." Do you think that's possible? And yeah. here we're yeah. like, "No, you're, you, that's not possible." But it is by you. <laughs> yeah, crazy. I know this is it, and it's it is one of those things. Actually, if you read the UK forums, that there's a lot of guys who will say that they try and avoid internals at all cost. So you know, even if a customer, it's a bit a little bit naughty, but if a customer said like, "I fancy getting the internals done the next time." Some guys, this is only some, but some will try and kind of avoid that customer and wait until they know they're out so they oh. can just turn up into the outsides. Uh, right. Because like you said, the insides can be a, can be a pain. Um, there's ornaments in the way. You know, you might get a really chatty customer and you're trying to get on and get on with your day and they just want to talk about their family photo album all day. You know, it's like, yeah. so we try and avoid it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that, that's uh, the inside. Now you're moving stuff, you're not trying not to break stuff, you're talking, you're spending time. Yeah. Like that's the best part about route here. Our route is what we would consider, you know, storefront. Our route, the best part thing about route is that you don't have to talk to anybody. You just do your thing. There's nothing avoid you know, taking up your time. But, yeah. But tell best me, free. so this is my, my ignorant question, but your uh Euros? Is that what you use? Money wise Euros? Uh, what what is your money? Oh yeah, yeah. Pounds. Out. Pounds, that's right, that's right. I didn't know yeah, that because yeah, yeah. we talked about. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna look up right now pound to U.S. dollar. So what do you charge? What's like a typical charge per window? Uh, downstairs window is probably about a pound, and for an upstairs window, you know, first floor, um, probably about two pounds, something like that. Depends wow. on obviously you know, how difficult it is to do, but that's kind of the standard uh, yeah. kind of price there. So to know if anybody's so, watching that doesn't want to check this out themselves, so the U.S. dollar right now is a dollar thirty-two. 
uh, per one pound. So you're charging about a buck thirty for a window, or we'll say uh, three dollars for um, you know uh, inside and outside. Like that's the pricing that that's what our route is. So I mean, we're really not far yeah. off. I mean, we're at a buck a side, which is yeah. a less than what you're charging. Yeah. This is it. And our, our houses, um, I've noticed, especially from watching uh, a shout out to Luke the Window Cleaner, um, but watching every single one of his videos, and I noticed with the houses there that the, generally speaking, the houses are a lot bigger. Um, our houses tend to be a lot more, shall I use the word modest? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we normally standard have two, three bedrooms, um, you know, bungalows up to maybe first floor kind of thing. Um, they maybe only take 15, 20 minutes to do. That's the average. You know, yeah. you, you do get houses a lot bigger um, that you can charge a lot more, but standard kind of thing in the UK, a house takes about 20 minutes, 25 minutes maybe yeah. tops. <laughs> well, in our area, so, uh, I don't know as much. So it's a luxury. Window cleaning is a luxury here. So when you yep. do a house, usually they're bigger, nicer houses or it's somebody that has money that's older. So when you see these houses, sure. don't think all of, uh, you know, America's these giant houses. It's just, that just happens to be the people that want to get their windows clean. All right. I thought you were just all minted. I thought you were all rich. I thought that well, was maybe yeah. you know, yeah. the poor part of the world, you know? <laughs> it's a little bigger here, but that's usually talking about the people themselves, like, you know, myself included, yeah. but, you know. <laughs> but uh, so you're, you're doing about 15, 20 minutes per house. You're in and out. You still do traditional, yep. and that's always mm -hmm. been another thing that we've talked about. Traditional yeah, yeah. water fed, like what? What is your? Yeah. I mean, I know everybody starts traditional usually, but if you're mm -hmm. only doing exteriors, why are you still focused on traditional? What's your What's your ideas there? Um, yeah, I've been asked this a couple of times. I think uh, now that I've mastered using the Mormon accelerator on an extension pole. Um, I'm kind of almost getting a house done in the same time I could do it with a water-fed pole. Because I used to use water-fed poles. I used to work for a very large company uh, based here in Scotland. Um, there were maybe about seven or eight vans, two, three guys to a van kind of thing, all van, van mounted systems, as opposed to you know using like the Zero Pure system or Unger Hydro, where you connect that to your water supply. Uh, all of our stuff, because the houses are not that big, they were all van mounted. So yeah. I've got a lot of experience water fed poles. Um, so I know roughly how long it takes to do a house here in the UK with a water fed pole. So once I've mastered doing traditional, and especially on a pole, I thought there's not that much difference in time, but I'm saving a lot of money not you know purchasing the system, not buying all the resin, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The only thing I have to worry about is changing my squeegee rubber and topping up my dish soap, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Putting yeah. the diesel in the van, and that's it. So, um, you know, so it's it's a lot. It's a low cost. Hold here this time of year, November, December. A lot of guys with water-fed pole systems can struggle because the temperatures drop well below minus conditions, and you know all the hoses. You've got problems with stuff freezing. Um, you know, pipes burst and all that kind of stuff. So that's all yeah. the, the fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't have to deal with any of that. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, water-fed pole is something I do love doing, and I'll be going into doing a little bit of it uh, as the time goes on. So stay tuned to Window Cleaning Resource. We're going to be providing a video for them shortly on uh, Tradman using water-fed poles. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so no, but it's it's a great system. Water-fed pole is brilliant, but I just find there's not a huge amount of time saved doing traditional with water fed pole on the style of houses that we have. It'd be different, I think, for houses like in the USA or things that, you know, um, you know, maybe lots of little squares, for instance, that is easier to use a brush rather than have to get up there and do it all traditionally. So there are some instances where I would definitely say water fed pole would beat traditional hands down. But for the vast majority of houses, especially on our uh, round at the moment, uh, traditional is you know, not too much slower. So it's less of a headache as well. So yeah. that's why I do it. And I, I love it. I enjoy it. There's nothing better than strapping on about a bazillion tools and then getting to work with, uh, you know, squeegees blazing. So right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and, and a lot of people don't realize either is that the UK, the trolley is huge there. Where here yeah, yeah. it is, I mean, 1% of everything is a trolley system, which, you know, water yeah. held tank wise, everything is on demand because again, maybe yeah. it's, it is, our houses are a little bit bigger. Every house has a spigot. You don't run into water issues. And, uh, when you're at a house, you're at a house for a while. I mean, you're talking a few hours 
is like the quickest house. Yeah. So it takes a little yeah. bit of a different time. For sure. Yeah, I was just thinking about that because our van mounted systems, normally it's about 100 meters of hose in the van mounted system, some a little bit bigger, but on average, it's about 100 meters of hose, uh, which would definitely wouldn't reach all the way around, you know, the buildings that you have. So yeah. I totally understand why you would need something to connect to a different water source and purify it on site. Um, that, that makes a lot of sense. So I totally understand why you guys, you know, uh, maybe that system that we use wouldn't probably work <laughs> yeah. for you. So you just have to do what works for your area, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But our houses, you know, there's very few, to be honest, that take two, three hours to do. Um, that's more maybe large oil companies, casinos, hotels, things like that. They take, you know, two, three hours to do. Because um, the company I used to work for, we used poles of up to 65 feet long. Um, you know, so that was getting up four or five stories, something like that. And it's just hours on end of scrubbing windows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so done all that, been there, got the t-shirt. Um, but yeah, so it's a great system. So it is a good system. But uh, yeah, so do you guys have things that you do on your end that's kind of at that height? Do you guys usually work with yourself, 65 foot or above? No, 65, I, I personally always say that anything over four stories, I'm really not going to do it with a water fed pole because I just can't, it's just, it's wrestling a grill. I'd rather have a lift. I'll water feed from a lift, but I mean, yeah. for the most part, four stories. Any houses I'll do, I can do water fed. There's, I'll never get into a house where we can't water feed. Um, but again, traditional is uh, uh, always, I always say you need traditional gear because there's a water fed pole is a tool expensive tool yeah. but it's a tool so yeah. you kind of need everything else you know but it's, it's you know i mean a good a good window cleaner has everything in their tool in their toolbox effectively yeah, you know so you know, hence why we're moving into doing a bit of water fed pole stuff as well because there are certain instances that we are of no use you know so i have customers asking me to do their conservatory roofs or you know solar panel cleaning or anything like that and I, at the moment this current point in time i was turning around and saying well I can't really do that. I'm a traditional window cleaner, you know. Um, but do with water fed pole just yeah, well, this is it. It opens up a huge, you know, um, you know, basket full of potential there um, that you can then go and do. Where it's you know cleaning the fascias and soffits, you know, conservatory roof cleaning, skylights, solar panels. Water fed pole is brilliant, you know, because it gives you that option of yeah. doing all of that stuff. So we're really looking forward to adding that on to our to our services and doing lots of reviews and videos uh, of that and in the future. Nice. And, and when you say you tell people you're a traditional cleaner, do they get that? Do they know what a water-fed pole is, like just regular people? Oh, yeah. yeah. Really? Well, the thing here is that, um, unfortunately, the water-fed pole hasn't got a great reputation. Um, Splash it's not because... That's the problem. That is the problem. Um, thing is, I have a lot of friends of mine who use water-fed poles, and they use it perfectly every time. Never get complaints. But unfortunately, there are a few who maybe haven't been trained how to use it, don't know what they're doing, maybe not even purifying their water. Um, they're just feeding up tank water straight to a window. Five minutes later, they drive off. Um, and then, you know, the customers... They tell their neighbors who tell their neighbors, oh, those guys with the brushes, they came round. I timed them. They were gone in five minutes. They just sprayed my windows and, and they drove off and took my money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the next thing they do, they phone up me and they say, you're that guy that uses a squeegee, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've had those guys with the magic brushes. They just made a mess of my windows, you know? I'm like, water fed pole? I'm like, yeah, 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 that one, you know? Ah, okay. Yeah. I says, well, I, I always say to my customers or potential customers, but I say that water fed pole is good. I said, I used to use it myself for about six, seven years. I said, your problem is going to be with the user and their equipment. You know, um, I said, you know, water fed pole is brilliant. So, you know, basically telling them not to, in a polite way, not to knock it, you know, but I said, yeah, of course I'll come in, you know, do your windows. But I try and say that with the reason being, if I ever moved, to water fed pole i haven't told them two three years ago yeah water fed pole sucks i'm a traditional yeah. guy all this and then i turned up with you're the not water a hypocrite pole. <laughs> oh it's fine <laughs> no, theirs was bad mine is good that's yeah, yeah yeah mine's good mine's good you know so that's why i try and explain to them you know like i'm not defending another company if they did a rubbish job that's up to them you know but i i say to them well it's not the system's fault you know 
it's whoever set it up and who's using it. So that is an ongoing battle in the UK, um, all over the place. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, I'm presuming it's the same same idea in the USA. I don't know. Nobody knows what a water fit pole is, and like homeowners, like they'll come <laughs> on and go, "What is that? Where do you put the soap? Yeah. What is?" Because it's not as common here for window cleaners, and and our our thing is to try to uh, teach people what it is more than um, tell them what you know version they have. And a lot of times, yes. people freak out before you even. Not a lot. I'd say a couple times a year, people will go, "What is that? Like, when are you squeegeeing it? We're not squeegeeing it. We're well. Uh, you can't just leave the water up. We can. It's like a car wash. <laughs> so, but the, yeah. we just don't have. Uh, we've, uh, gosh, this. If you're listening or watching, correct me if I'm wrong, because this is a guess. I'm pulling this out of my butt, but um, <laughs> I would say maybe 10% of uh, Americans actually get their windows cleaned, and that's probably too high. I would say it's probably closer to like 5%. Like, I don't know anybody in my life that actually gets their windows cleaned professionally. You know, so wow. it, it, it's, it's super, there's more people will get their carpets clean than their uh, windows clean. So it's not, it's not super common for people to know the equipment you're using. They just know like yeah. what do they see in cartoons, you know, squeegee kind of, uh-huh. like, well, this is different. What yeah. are you doing? Yeah. That makes, it, a lot, that makes a lot more sense though. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. again, when our typical um, house uh, price for a house, our typical ticket is like 200 and um, something dollars. So, you know, 200, okay. I can't remember what it is. Maybe 269, something like that is our typical uh, kind of price. That's what our cookie cutter house is. So that yeah. price yeah. figured over to where you are. Now you can see that, that that price is more than those people spend in a whole year to get their windows clean. So yeah. it is a little bit different. Yeah. So that you get a lot more. By you, what's the percentage would you say of people who actually get their house, their windows cleaned professionally? Uh, here, I would, it's a lot higher, definitely for sure. Um, especially once you've got one or two in a street. Um, it's, I don't know if it's a bit of a keeping up with the Joneses kind of idea, but usually a lot of other people will then flock out and go, Oh, can you do mine? Can you do mine? And yeah. that's usually what happens. And that's why yes. your round grows so quick. Um, but yeah, no, I'm at a guess, I would say. Oh, this is putting me on the spot now. I'll probably get there'll be somebody on a forum going, "That's the wrong number." Fifty <laughs> um, percent, maybe even more. Um, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people. Um, you know, because the thing is, there's a very high concentration of window cleaners. Like every second, third guy here is a window cleaner. You know, wow. um, yeah. I mean, I pass about five or six on my way to work every day. <laughs> wow! I, if we see another window cleaner, it's like, "Whoa, look at there's another window cleaner!" Like. It's, yeah, it's pretty rare. We're a little bit different. I think we're because are you guys more friendly to other window cleaners? No. I don't know. What's the situation? No. Oh, okay. Well, not, you're not, similar to us. Then. Not in the area. <laughs> when you go to conventions and stuff, oh, everybody's amazing. But like guys in your yeah. area, for some reason, just think that you're trying to steal their work or something. I I invite every okay. new company I see to. I invite them down. Hey, let's talk. Let's just. And yeah. very rarely do I ever actually meet with anybody. Yeah. It's 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 a strange one because you know if you take for instance say like um, carpenters, joiners, plumbers, electricians, if they pass each other or they meet each other in a shop or whatever, you don't see them bickering over. Oh, I saw you doing a job down the street. Um, I use I fitted their plumbing last week. Why are you there? You yeah. don't get that. Yeah. Window cleaning seems to be one of those things where it's a little bit like almost territorial. You know, um, I remember doing a little bit of canvassing a little while back. And I was doing this one street, and it's quite a big village, you know. And there was a window cleaner. He was up the ladders. He was working away. And, you know, I didn't go and canvas, obviously, the house he was doing, because that would just be a little bit, you know, naughty. Yeah. But I didn't houses either side of him, and he did not like it, you know. Even though they weren't his customers, right, he right. just viewed it. That was his street, you know. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he was looking at it as, you know, that's potential for me, you know. And he just sees me rolling in with my van, and I'm like, yeah, everybody, here's my tickets, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll come and do it, you know? Right. Um, but see, you guys are, yeah. nobody has weapons by you, though, so it's all right. You just get an argument. See, here would be a whole other story. <laughs> we just use these. <laughs> no, we, no, we don't um, use those well, anymore. I don't, I, I don't do that. I just move on. But there are, yeah. I think it's actually a lot worse in England, believe it or not. In Scotland, it's not as bad as that. Um, you know, to be honest, we actually usually are pretty friendly with each other. But I believe down in England, it's a lot worse for the whole territorial thing. You know, tires get cut and all sorts of stuff. Um, it can get a bit vicious down there. But up here, it's pretty pretty laid back. I mean, I go and have a coffee 
uh, and grab a burger with some of the local window cleaners if we're working in the same area. Nice. Um, you know, so and we pass on work to each other as well. So, you know, there are uh, some nice ones out there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'll find it here too. I, I don't want to say uh, that there aren't nice ones, but you, you for the majority of the time, that's why the, the trade shows and things are so much fun because you could talk to people and you're like, it's like dogs when you bring dogs to a dog park. I don't know if you have dog parks. It's a dumb question, but they don't care about the other dogs. Like if you keep your dog at your house and like a dog comes in your yard, they bark at it. But you go to a dog park and the dogs are like, oh, what's up? You know, there's no fights yeah, at dog yeah. parks. It's like the same concept, I think. But Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's good though because, I mean, um, you know, there are differences, but there are also a lot of similarities as well. Yeah. Um, and that's one of the things I love about window cleaning is that it just it has so much – so much passion about it. I mean, that is why guys get upset is because they're passionate about what they do and they don't, do, you know, stepping on their toes or potentially ruining their, their business or anything. They're passionate about it. And that, to be honest, uh, stands out to me. And I really like that about it. You know, even yeah. if they are a bit kind of weird and territorial, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. I'll still do your neighbor next door. It's fine. <laughs> right, right. What, what are yeah. your houses set up with screens though? I mean, there's so many window cleaners and so many people. <laughs> I hate them. I, I watched the video that Luke was doing, and I was like, "What on earth is that attached to the window?" You know, um, I think if the if screens were a thing in the UK, there'd be no window cleaners. We can't be bothered with that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, let's start over. Let's start over. Nobody has screens. <laughs> Not one. No. So, do, do the windows even open? Like on a nice day, do you open your windows? What happens then? But. Um, we don't have the whole, you know, you guys take out that screen and you have to clean it all down. I believe there's actually a new tool come out for that screen cleaning I saw uh, Luke was doing. I'm doing a lot of shout outs for Luke today, a lot of love for Luke today. Nice. nice. But, um, yeah, so, you know, it looked pretty interesting, but British people um, were too much a sort of go, go, go attitude. If we had to, you know, faff around or mess around with screens and, you know, to get to the window and all that, it would just. I don't think we would probably do it. <laughs> really? So nobody has screens, so you just don't ever run into that. So uh, no, no, here, what would you say? Yeah. I was just saying it's brilliant because you can just turn up to the job and you can keep your feet on the ground. You don't need to go off and take screens out. You just turn up, boom, 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 job done. So uh, yeah. just to reiterate, to catch people up if you're watching or listening. So uh, not only do you do houses once a month, you do external mm -hmm. only for almost all of them, and there's not a such thing as a screen. Well, I, uh, I'm telling you, next plate over here, man. It's it's uh, easier. <laughs> no wonder there's so many window cleaners over there. here. Ever, I would say, in my history, I think I maybe run into one house that they took the screens down, but every single window oh, that has ever produced has a screen. I, if it opens, it has a screen. Oh wow, okay, yeah. But I suppose you're um, over there. You've got more of a danger of really, really bad weather. You know, um, we don't get you know storms really. We, if we get a, like a, a gust of wind, we're complaining. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you guys sorts of really bad weather. So you know, I can understand why you guys have that kind of thing to try and you know protect the windows a little bit. But well, uh, yeah, we don't mess around with that kind of thing. If the window breaks, it breaks. So no worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So when you uh, on a nice day and somebody opens a window to let the air in, there's just no screen. You guys don't have bugs, or uh, not really. It's probably too cold in Scotland for bugs. They probably yeah. freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. This is mind blowing. This is this is uh, mind blowing yeah. to me. Cultural references here. I just never never knew. Never knew. Yeah, the only thing I suppose you have to worry about um, in the UK is that. A lot of our windows will open sort of in towards the room. So if I'm looking out the window and they open back towards me, you have to um, sort of worry about the water getting in to actually pass the framework. Yeah. So if the customer got in to close the window for you and you're purely water-fed pool, uh, there's an issue there because mm. you have to be extremely careful that you don't get any water in there in the building. Oh, <laughs> I there, have, are, uh... there are companies that do traditional, you know? Yeah. Um, there are companies that are just purely water fed pole and if your windows open they'll just go oh well you should have closed it and they'll just do it <laughs> really really, that's crazy oh yeah 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 i uh but, i can't tell you that i've ever seen a window open inward like that everything here slides up and down or cranks open yeah yeah we, well we do have the um like sort of sash and case styled windows that you you open up um from the bottom but they're more older buildings that have them um, we have, um, if you ever watch, well, obviously you we may be watching some of the videos on my channel, but also Poles and Blades. Uh, he's got the same kind of windows. He's in the UK as well. Uh, those kind of windows, they either open sort of completely out the way, 
um, or they'll open in sort of back the way towards the inside of the room. Um, but yeah, I mean, water fed poles, I mean, as long as it's, you know, not open in the way, you can get away with cleaning the window, water fed pole. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's, there's a lot of guys that just, you know, they wouldn't get a ladder out to go and do it traditionally if it was open. They would just go, okay, I'll just carry on with the water fed. <laughs> so wow. I've seen it done, unfortunately, I've seen it done. Uh, I remember one time I was doing a hotel. Um, I didn't know that the window was uh, it wasn't on the latch. It, w- it was actually technically open. Somebody pushed the window closed. So I had a 45 foot water fed pole and doing this hotel and I put the, the brush and the water was going and I put the brush up against the window and obviously the window opened and the brush went into the hotel room oh. and I'm spraying water inside the hotel room and it was, it was stuck. You know, and I'm like trying to get this 45 foot pole out this window going, oh, I hope there's not, they haven't got a customer in there. Oh. I mean, you know, it's good times, good times yeah. with fed. <laughs> uh, one of the other reasons you don't use it. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, yeah. So that kind of, you know, scared me a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, traditional, I mean, I don't have a thing against water fed poles. As you know, I'm going to be using it in the near future. Um, and I've used it before. So I don't really understand the whole, you know, I'm, trad and completely trad and always will be trad thing because there are some jobs you just cannot do traditional um and a pole generally speaking is that bit quicker um and safer as well it saves you climbing up ladders so yeah. there's a lot of positives to uh to the water fed poles so i don't understand the whole traditional versus water fed pole but there you go that's just my opinion <laughs> it's, uh, the, the, the debate is here too and i don't understand why i mean people are so passionately against like that's like saying I use yeah. uh, Louisville ladders, and people are like, "Oh my gosh, you know where is the way?" And they get in an argument yeah. about it. It makes no sense to me. Like it's a tool. Well, I had like... some videos. I, I used a. I, was, I think it was a first clean video where I was up on the ladder, and somebody had commented that I shouldn't be using that ladder. It was a really well-made aluminium ladder, and they said, "No, no, you should be using a wooden one." I'm like, what? <laughs> I've never. Um, had... I said, you can't buy wooden ladders here. I think they're not even uh, legal here. <laughs> I, I don't know. Maybe they just bashed some sticks together out of a tree that they found on the side of the road, and that was what they used. I don't know. But they, they came on and said, look, this is what you should be using. Uh, despite the fact that I said to them, well, you know, when wood gets wet, it's very slippy, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Wooden ladder, wooden ladder all the way, you know. Okay. <laughs> it's like 12 times the weight to have fun with that. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know, so I mean, everyone in the window cleaning industry is going to have an opinion, whether right or wrong. And everybody should be able to listen to everyone's opinion and go, OK, fair enough. That's a good point. Or go, well, I appreciate your point, um, but I'll carry on doing what I'm doing. You know, um, but unfortunately, like you said, people do get a bit heated, a bit passionate, over enthusiastic. Uh, and that blinds them to potentially, you know, using tools that are a lot better, a lot safer, a lot quicker. Yeah. Um, because they think the way they've done it for 20 years is the only way to do it. So until they just sit back and go, okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how it goes. I'll try this new tool. Then they're not going to progress. And that's just the, the moral of the story. There we go. That's yeah. my, that's my uh, few pound in. <laughs> that's so like the go. moral of life right there. Just keep an open mind. Like stop arguing yeah, people. Exactly. I'm, Exactly. So what's what's up with uh, the convention? Are you ever going to come to a convention here? I mean, are, are are we going to be able to fly you in and hang out? Is that is that in the, yeah, is that, that in the cards? Right. <laughs> you do realize that I have um, two crazy kids that would want to come with me. So it depends mm. where you're going to want to put up with them. It just, got ex- <laughs> more, it just got more expensive. I think we're going to start a GoFundMe page, and we're going to get you plane yeah. tickets to come here and hang out and uh, see the U.S. <laughs> this is it. I'm thinking for a cover picture for it. We'll use my three-year-old with a squeegee and a little tear in his eye with a little window cleaning resource pamphlet. Just going, <laughs> yes. I want to go. I want to. That'll go work. To the US. <laughs> yes. <laughs> see, he actually loves uh, window cleaning. He loves it. Really? So, uh, oh, so you got another one. So it's going to be like three generations. Maybe, maybe, until maybe he grows up and he's a teenager and goes, nah, I'm going to play with computers. So who knows? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's good. But at the moment, I'm training up my wife. I don't know if people have maybe seen a couple of my videos. Um, I think there's maybe two or three that I've done where my wife, Carly, uh, she's been a part of the, the team. So she's been coming out once a week to, uh, to train. And uh, yeah, if she's going to watch this, I hope she is. 
Uh, if she's not, then I'll dock her wages. She's not getting paid. She <laughs> she's has turned to, her. She's, she's turned the channel already, though. She's not listening this far, but go oh, ahead. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, she's learning and doing very well, and uh, enjoying the window cleaning trade as well. So there we go. We've got another lady joining the the, the happy nice. band. It's nice. Good. So you're gonna have like that's like now you have two. I don't want to even say employee, but there's two of you now. So that means your round's gonna open up. Now you're gonna have twice as much. And this is it. And the long term goal is um when the kids are grown up maybe they might join us maybe they won't but even if not when they've grown up it'll be me and my wife carly and we'll just grow the business kind of from there uh, to a comfortable state you know, and uh, see where it goes you know but we're always looking to kind of expand and increase and try new things and i'm never ever just you know at the moment people know probably more often than not i use a mormon accelerator but if something else comes out that blows that out of the water, then I'll use that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm not a religiously stuck to one thing. Um, I'll always be the best thing on the market and uh, and use that. So that's what I think most window cleaners should do. We're out there to provide the best service we can. That's what a lot of people will say on their, their advertisements. So likewise, that should reflect in our tools as well, I think. Uh, nice. Anyway. <laughs> nice. Well, cool. I well, could be I, wrong. Yeah, right. <laughs> My opinion. <laughs> Your opinion. You're open-minded. You're 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 at least yes. being what you say you should. Everybody else should be. So I get it. I get it. Precisely. But either we'll way, see, I hopefully we can get the word spread. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely appreciate you um, taking the time out. I know our time differences made this a uh, little bit uh, tricky, so I definitely appreciate it. Um, and if anybody out there has not heard of your channel. Um, please go check it out. It's what? pretty amazing. What'd you say? I'm saying, why not? They should have uh, by now. <laughs> that's right. That's right. If you don't know, he's the guy who really likes Luke. So Luke's going to start plugging you just as much as you're plugging him. So <laughs> <laughs> my beard's not a big problem yet. Yet. You're going to have a big yet. red beard and then it'll be, there you go. I'm going to store squeegees in it. That's going to be the new tool holder. Yeah. See, yes. see, always thinking innovator. <laughs> innovator <laughs> but anyway thanks for hanging out with us and uh again if you guys need any type of supplies or anything i am rep with window cleaning resource so hit me up 862-312-2026 or shoot me your info via email josh at windowcleaningresource.com and um listen to wcr nation go back check it out hopefully you're part of the nation hopefully you check out trad man trad girl because they're amazing and uh hopefully you learned a thing or two and uh, there you go. Uh, have a great week. Be epic and go make some money before the snow flies.